Hello guys, in this tutorial I will be showing you how you can make a simple React Markdown that looks something like this. So we can add stuff here. And yeah, this is gonna be a really simple tutorial and short one, so let's just begin making it here. So one thing we're gonna need first, let's switch this to Hero. And then, let's see, we're gonna need one div here and a text area. here and let's see so this is the package you're gonna we're gonna use it's called react dash markdown so if we scroll down this is what you'll need to install but in my case I'm gonna do it here so I'll just type that react markdown and it's this one by Rexars so I'm gonna add that. And then if you wanna import it here. So react dash markdown and then slash with HTML. And then we can render that as a component here under the text area. Like that. And we can also add a class name to this, so we can style it later. And let's just add some styles so we can actually see how this looks like. That's our hero, and then we're gonna have a markdown container. That's gonna hold both of our text area and then the output we have on the right. Let's add flex to that. That's our text area. And then for both the output and text area, we want to have more style. So we can copy this and a comma and then copy this line. And then let's see for that. So this is how that's gonna look like. This is our text here and this is the output we're gonna get. So if we go back to our app here, first thing we're gonna need to import is use state from the app. And we're only gonna have a single state that's gonna get the value of our text area here. So we can call that like value. And we can set that to an empty string. 
And then for our text area, we want to add an on change event. So we can add, first we can add a value, which is going to be our state that we call the value here. And then we can add an on change event. And we want to set that value. to e.target.value. So once we type, we can get that. And then for the act markdown, this has few props on it. So the first one is source. And the source is whatever's gonna appear here. So in our case, we wanna get everything we type on the left. And we're storing that inside our value state. So we can do source equals to value here. And then escape HTML. Because we don't want to show HTML here, and we want to set that to false. And that's all you need to do for uh, to make this markdown. So this already works if we try typing something. As you can see, this already works. I also want to add... Let me see. I don't want to show... Uh, I want to display a different color, so for our hero, so here, I want to display white color. So this is always white, and then you can add any markdown you want, as you can see. So if we go back to this example, that's finished. So this is the link, so let's try adding a link to ours. And if we click this, it goes here, and let's try adding this picture. Like that. There's our picture, and uh, this is not gonna. This browser here is much smaller, so you can't see it properly. And if I open this a new window, this is how it actually looks like. So this is centered and it has space around it here, where you can see it properly. But yeah, that would be our simple React Markdown app that you can make. If you guys like this tutorial. Please leave a sub and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.